Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Rebecca here with Learning Together by Grace. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about the traditional style of homeschooling. And I'm gonna give you some pros and some cons and my personal take on it as well. Are you guys ready? I am, let's go. Now, the traditional take on homeschooling, it is what it is. It's the traditional way that you think of school. So think about the public school system. The traditional way of homeschooling is going to mirror that. So whatever you can imagine happening in the public school, that's what you would be doing at home as you are homeschooling your children. So think about lesson plans for the week, lesson plans for each subject, very detailed lesson plans. Think about having like a rigorous schedule that um, you are having your children adhere to throughout the days and the weeks and months and think about a pretty much a very linear approach to doing education. Now also with traditional education, you will have specific textbooks for each subject. So you'll have a math textbook. If you're doing kindergarten math, if you're doing pre-algebra, you'll have a textbook for that as well as any other subject that you are teaching, language arts, history, science, and your extracurricular activities as well. And so I would have to say that this is what most people probably think when they think about education. And it would probably most likely fall in line with the state standards or the national standards for education and um, your child could literally go from homeschool to public school and probably switch over just fine with no problems at all. And so um, this is a parent-led type of homeschool method where you as the parent will be teaching the lessons and your children will do assignments, quizzes, tests, things of that nature based off of what has been taught okay so very similar to public school and if that is something that you are comfortable with this would be the perfect type of curriculum or, or method i should say of homeschooling um, for you and your family now the pros to that is that you know that each year you're going to get a new set of textbooks that will be geared specifically to what grade level that your child is in. You'll have a textbook for every single subject. So there's no particular guesswork on what are they gonna learn this year. It's all mapped out in the textbook and you just follow along in the textbook. And then also the pros to it is having a set schedule. A lot of times, children like that order and they like to know that okay we know that at eight o'clock every morning we're doing our devotional at 8 30 is our math time at nine reading so forth and so on and there may be some students out there that need that very detailed schedule in order to stay on track another thing is that because it's very linear you're going to be able to go from preschool or kindergarten, whenever it is that you decide to start teaching your child all the way down to 12th grade. And you know that there's going to be a natural linear progression as you are going along in your homeschool, especially if you stick with the same curricular or curriculum from pre-K kindergarten all the way to 12th grade year. So those are definitely some pros to this type of curriculum. Now, um, the cons to it is that it can be too too rigid. Um, some people like the flexibility of being able to add more um, time to maybe extracurricular activities or maybe even spend more time on certain subjects, topics, things of that nature. And um, also there may not be as much room for creativity potentially if you're very rigorous in how you are doing that method of homeschooling and also it a con could be that it mimics the public school system too much and some people 
may feel like, well, if I'm homeschooling them, what's the purpose of me having my homeschool looking like a classroom in a public school system? And so those could be some cons. Now, my takeaway on this teaching method is, well, I don't think it's bad. I came from a teaching background and that is what I'm used to. And so with coming over from teaching and then in the public school system and private sector, and then coming to home and teaching my children here, that actually kind of helped me like ease into homeschooling. And so I was very rigid, but now I'm a lot more laxed. <laughs> so I don't need that rigidity. And I understand that I don't have to be that way with my children and I can, slow down, take time, and really go over information that my children are struggling with multiple times in multiple ways. And so that has been helpful. I do feel like, yes, this can definitely be good for children who really struggle with not having a set routine because some some children thrive. I mean, they literally thrive off of a set schedule, set routine, knowing that this is going to be the same type of curriculum that we're going to do from pre-K, kindergarten, all the way to 12th grade year. And some will be perfectly fine with that. While others need more flexibility in which a traditional education may not offer that, and it's more so geared towards let's make sure we're teaching to whatever tests that they're going to be taking at the end of these two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, or what have you. And it won't give much room for exploration and experiencing life around you in different ways. And so I do have some of the traditional values with homeschool for sure. I do like to stay on a schedule, but even though I have a schedule, it's kind of loose because my children are at different paces and because one may get done with something quicker than the other, I can't necessarily say, no, we're going to stick to this exact schedule. However, them knowing, okay, we are going to do this subject, we're going to do that subject, but I'm a little bit more lax when it comes to moving ahead. If my children don't have it, we're not moving ahead. We're going to get that thing mastered for them. So there you have it. I hope you guys are enjoying these homeschool method videos. I have, mm, I think two more to do. And the last one will be the homeschool method that I believe that I fit into. And so hopefully this will help you if you are deciding whether or not to homeschool your child. Again, like I always say, I am all for people that want to homeschool. I am all for people that want to put their children in public or private school. You can get a very enriching education with either form of schooling. So don't feel intimidated. If you do want to homeschool or are unsure, just start. And don't feel intimidated if you don't homeschool your children because there's a lot of people out there that'll tell you that you're wrong. <laughs> on either side honestly so you guys go and do the best that you can do for your children be it homeschool or public school and i hope you have a blessed day bye